This popcorn style review contains scenes from another video. A Gretzko season two. This is, season is kind of divided between three main plot lines. The first main plot line is that there's a new employee working at the office and a Gretzko has to teach him. Uh, and this plot line drove me up the fucking wall because throughout the whole like show he like kept threatening to tell like the higher ups that he's being mistreated but he really wasn't they were just like teaching him and they end up going through everyone in the office trying to get him to do his fucking job and like they even like bring out like tone and he doesn't even listen to fucking tone and what drives me the most bonkers about this shit is that like the tone in season one would not have put up with this shit that he would have been fucking fired immediately by season one tone but they they do this to like give you a better understanding of like the hippo girl like the hippo lady but like it, it ends up kind of detracting from the other characters in that regard and he's such an irritating little fuckwit that like maybe maybe it's just like like, d delicate Japanese sensibilities or something, like, clashing with my angry American persona. But if I was fucking working there, I'd have told him what for. And, like, he could type on his fucking phone all he wants, but if he can't do his fucking job, he shouldn't be hired there. So fuck him. And it, it, it that, that went on for several episodes and fucking drove me crazy. It was also about, uh, Retzko's mom trying to get her to find a guy, and this is more directly tied in with the, the, the latter half of the plot line, uh, where Retzko starts dating, uh, like a billionaire tech mogul. The themes behind it about, like, finding your own way and not, like, letting someone make life decisions for you, oh, and, uh, the tech mogul's... Uh, thoughts on how people shouldn't have to do just meaningless busy work uh, just to make by uh, really like strikes a chord but uh, on the other hand it does take away from some of the more relatable ac uh, aspects of the show in that you know re relatability is a big thing about uh, uh, Gretzko and there's nothing really relatable about dating a billionaire most people won't date a billionaire but other than that, you know, it. you know what, it's likable enough, even if parts of it were irritating. Twitch and Discord in the description. I've been Sacrobolic, your Envoy of Hope. Bye-bye!